what's up? It's me, Priscilla. <laughs> Shut up. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and this is Steven, who happens to be my boyfriend. I'm gonna be doing this a lot in the video because normally in my job I'm behind the camera, not in front of it, and now I know what it feels like. Why everybody, whenever you put a camera on them, goes. On Instagram, I posted a little picture Q and A, and I said, "Go ahead and I haven't done one of these in a while, so go ahead and ask us some questions, whether it's directed at me or at Steven or about my dog or I don't know. Who or knows? About Steven's dog. Steven actually picked out some of these questions. Astron zero V A underscore. How long have you known Steven? Question mark. Oh, I have to read like that. Also, what are you guys' favorite Marvel characters? <laughs> July, June. In the June. July, end of June. June 2017. June. June 2017 mm -hmm. at a racetrack. Uh, what are what's our your favorite, favorite Marvel? Marvel characters? Batman's not a Marvel character, is he? That's funny, I'm wearing a Batman shirt when I asked a Marvel question. How dare you? You go first. My favorite. Say Winter Soldier. Really? Mm -hmm. Comics and movie? <laughs> I think my favorite Marvel comic character has always been Spider Man, by far. But. I almost like Robert Downey Jr. That was very good. I almost like Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man in the movie series better. Katie Bug 101. If you could be any Disney character, which one would you be? Which one would you be, Katie? Tell us in the comments <laughs> below. If I could be any Disney character, I would definitely be Tarzan because I saw this special feature on the VHS. Look it up on Google Kids. Uh, the VHS for the movie Mulan. Uh -huh. And they said that one of the inspirations for the Tarzan movie, where, you know, they've got Jang and Tarzan has the big dreadlocks, was the skate park. Because mm -hmm. at that time, uh, skateboarding was huge. And so that's why you have Tarzan <laughs> sliding along the trees. And this is a really long answer. Yep. Judge me. <laughs> and I thought that was so cool. So I wish I could be Tarzan so I could climb trees like that. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Um, you take forever to answer. At least I'm not giving a paragraph of an answer. Oh. Bell. Mm-hmm. Bell. 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 Top three favorite animals. My top three favorite animals are dogs number one. I'm partial. Uh, guinea pigs number two. I had two pet guinea pigs. They're the most awesome rodents ever. Don't judge me. And three would probably be wolves because they make good monsters. <laughs> Dogs, sloths, and alpacas. Wolves eat alpacas. <laughs> On the Meet the Artist post, it says that Steven is a director. That's me. Uh, what kind of things does he direct and how long has he been doing it? Okay, so the story is I am, I just turned, I just turned 29. And 11 years ago now, I decided I wanted to make movies because I quote them all the time. You know, circumstances opening up and opportunities opening up. Uh, I got to edit a desert racing show, uh, in, like, like trucks in the desert back in 2008. And so specifically, are you giving me bunny ears? <laughs> Ever since 2008, I specifically direct racing shows. Uh, I've done things on like classic cars, but if it has four wheels and it goes really fast, those are the shows I make. And that's how I met this lovely lady. Sadie Schaefner. 1357 says, if you could be any Disney Pixar romance, what would it be directed oh, at both you and Disney Steven? Disney slash. I still think we're good. Nick and Judy. Is that a romance, though? Oh, uh, no. Answer in the comments below. I would say, okay, if it's going to be a real romance, I'd say Rapunzel is Flynn. I didn't see that movie. I know. Oh. Yeah. Do, do we get to count? Well, I was going to say Anakin and Padme, but she dies, so maybe not that one. I mean, the start of it was nice. I don't know, I could do a Beauty and the Beast romance. You could? Although, you know, we were kind of got along well from the beginning. Emma Jean R2 is a hot dog a sandwich. Sorry, I have to know. Okay, on three, we answer. One, One two, two, three. three. Yes! No. <laughs> Lexi Dar says, most embarrassing moment. I feel like every time my stomach growls, it's not because of hunger, it's because you make me so incredibly nervous all the time <laughs> and you give me all the butterfly tarantulas. I don't know. I kind of, I was embarrassed, but I wasn't embarrassed. 
She took me to Disney World for the first time. She also took me to Comic Con for the first time. <laughs> and both times that I went to both places, I got overwhelmed because there was so much awesomeness. Like we got to meet the guy who did the voice of Squidward. I had never been to Disney World before. And whenever I get really happy, I kind of get overloaded. And so the whole time I was there, I kind of went like this. I always ask him, are you okay? The happiness was too real. <laughs> but that's probably my most embarrassing moment because I never want her to think sure that I'm not having okay? fun. <laughs> wow. 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 Nobody, Nobody asked, asked you, Kevin! Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Dreams from Wonderland asks. Elijah! Hi. What was your most magical moment at Disney World? Also, what is your favorite Dapper Day costume that you have worn, Priscilla? And I have a question for Steven. Who is your favorite Disney character? Okay, let's start with the first. What was your most magical moment at Disney World? My most magical moment was when we were taking the tram into Magical Kingdom. I don't know if any of you guys have ever been there, but I hadn't. And I was standing on the tram like this with my arm around Miss Priscilla. And I just remember thinking, this is so cool. It's almost not even real. I just wanted to take my boyfriend to Disney World. What is your favorite Dapper Day costume that you've worn, Priscilla? Bing Bong! See, one. that's kind of one. 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 Okay, with preface. Pick one. It's no. tough. We've got Star no. Wars and Marvel no, are part of I Disney now. It's so difficult. I said one. Does he have to be animated or can he be live action? Either. Iron Man. How did Steven first start to draw? Funny story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in his dad's basement. <laughs> no, for real, I had no clue what I was doing because I was like four years old and so I saw the movie Aliens, don't look it up because it's scary kids, but I really wanted to draw an alien so I went down and I took some paper and a pen and I sat in the closet and I started doodling it together. How did you and your boyfriend first meet slash how did he ask you out? We already I want to tell no, Okay, fine, we already told him how we first met. We first met at a racetrack. My dad had missed two crashes. And my mom kind of just went, hey, we should ask GoPro dude if we should get the footage. I ran out of the trailer to go and track down GoPro, cute GoPro dude, and I found him. And that's where he gave me his card. And we had been talking on the good old world of Facebook, and he actually started talking to me about movies. We were mostly talking about movies, just general conversation. Star Wars. And Star Wars was coming out pretty soon, The Last Jedi. And he was asking me, so are you going as a lone Jedi? Or are you going to go with a bunch of, what did you say, Chewbacca's or something? I think it was like an Avengers style group. Are you going to go with an Avengers style group? Yeah. And I went, oh no, I think I'm just going to go as a lone Jedi. It'll be okay. And then he goes, Bear in mind, Stephen lives in Indiana and I live in North Carolina. So it's a long distance thing. So Stephen goes, so Stephen goes, well, I kind of want to take you out. And I was I so I kind of want to take you shocked. out. I was like, I want to take you out. Thinking that this guy from Indiana wants to ask me out. And I went, oh, how are you going to, how are you going to do that? <laughs> then I called her up and I was like, hey, I can't ask a girl out for messaging because that's lame. You have to ask her out over the phone. And I was like, Miss Priscilla, will you go see Star Wars with me? I'll come to you. And she goes, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's adorable. Oh. <laughs> I love this question. Sketch with Tiff says, Has a bad experience ever affected the way you draw? Did you even draw at all? <clears throat> yes. A bad experience, many bad experiences can help can help me in my art creativity to just er, nothing nothing comes to me but it also has gotten me through a ton even when i'm really really sad i still turn to art and still want to be a part of art in some way so even though even if it was a death in the family i still had a want to draw to escape because everything was so bad in reality but art offers me an escape what about you well, it's kind of weird for me because I do as much work with a camera as I do actually drawing because she's a million times better artist than I am. And yes and no. The thing is, I always try whenever I'm taking pictures or videos or even drawing, even if it's like a dark drawing, you know, like something that's upsetting, I always try to put something a tiny bit hopeful into it. And so I would say yes, but at the same time, no, because I don't ever want anybody to look at my artwork and go, oh, that makes me sad. I want even my saddest artwork, whether it's a camera or a photo or video or a doodle. I want 
even a small part of it for somebody to look at it and go, yeah, but that part was cool. That gave me hope. So, yes and no. Mm -hmm. Where did you and Steven go on your first date? And was it awkward? To see the movie! The movie! Was it awkward? I so wanted to hold your hand. <laughs> and of course, it was not polite to go. I crumple toilet paper or fold it. Priscilla, do you crumple your toilet paper or do you fold it? Depends on the toilet paper! Really? You do yeah. both? Yeah. Wow. Because if it's like at the cheap school toilet paper, gotta crumple that mess. <laughs> and I used to crumple my toilet paper, but I don't anymore. Stay neat, stay organized, and if it's cheap school toilet paper, fold it like 500 times over. Crumple it. Still better than crumpling. Crumple it. Don't crumple it. Crumple it. Don't crumple it. Crumple it. Next question. Horika says, tell us about Steven. Steven is amazing. He's a fantastic, talented director as well as an artist. Now, there are all different types of art and he is the most gifted artist I have seen in film. And I've met a lot of people like that, but by far Steven's my favorite. He's very talented, he's very organized, he's a very articulate kind of guy. <laughs> and he's just very overly intelligent. I've learned from him every single day and I'm so happy I found him and that he wound up in my path in the most uncommon places in the world because he is practically perfect in every way. Oh That's no, it. that was all. Yep. <gasps> On behalf of all of us here. Oh, it's <laughs> my phone! Can we do that do 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 thing? Yeah, of course. Okay. okay. Can we do so, it all the way over? Let me say oh. thank you. Okay. Hey guys. <laughs> Thank you for watching today. Thank, Thank you, you for being on this wonderful video, yes. Stephen. And, oh, for, and <laughs> thank you for all your questions on Instagram. Once again, I might do one of these again soon. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with all this wonderful stuff. And I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to eat it. Get back here. <laughs>